All right, here we've got uh, Desert of the Undead being played on NES, courtesy of Retro Retro Bro Gaming and uh, Arson Productions. So you got two different modes here. You got a run gun shooter, and you have a uh, uh, auto running uh, shooter, which is the difference between start game and mayhem mode. We're going to do start game first. John Maverick, ex Navy SEAL, now businessman, returns home from a business trip. From a distance, he can see the horizon seems off. Something is wrong. It's up to John to find out what is causing the strange aura. Mission, meet up with the town sheriff. Now this game is 100% complete. Uh, the ROM was provided to me by the developer. Uh, John, something has infected our town. It's the walking dead out there. To equip your weapon, press the select button. If you have heavy ammo, you can press select again to change ammo. Heavy ammo will go further and you double the damage, but you can only carry 8 shots at a time. So, gun. And here we go. So this is your normal shot. Hitting select. That is your shotgun, essentially. Um... So yeah, you have to uh, just get f get to the stage and you know, kill uh, kill snakes, spiders, and scorpions, and, and just loads of different bad guys. Um, I like that you can shoot sideways off the uh, off the ladder. <laughs> Definitely a nice touch. Uh, graphically, the game looks awesome. I love the way the graphics look. Um, now I did have a, a few. Uh, issues with the uh, invisible platforms, things of that nature. But in my discussions with the developer, it, it, it seems like those are intentional. Uh, there's little quirks left in the game uh, on purpose. So, uh, I, I think it's kind of a kind of nice thing to have, just kind of a, 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 a homage, if you will, to the older style NES games of, of uh, yesteryear. <laughs> Uh, so definitely, uh, yeah, definitely a great game. I love the, the color palettes. The colors are great. Uh, they pop really nice. They look really nice. Animations are really great too. Um, now this is their first game, um, and they did one heck of a great job with this being their first game. Um, yeah, I mean, really, the the only issue I had with oh man. Uh, the issue I had with the game, and I brought this to to their attention, was the fact that the uh, the text um, and the text box is black. Uh, I think it would have been nice to have it be white instead of black, just because it's easier to read. Well, I didn't even think that that Scorpio was going to come down here. That, that was cool. I like how abundant the uh, ammo is. Pretty much every time you kill an enemy, you'll get ammo, so you really don't need to necessarily use the uh, main weapon. Uh, um, but I typically... I'm not going to kill me again. <laughs> but I uh, typically choose to use the uh, the main gun with uh, infinite ammo. But I think I'll start using the the yeah, shotgun instead. Oh, oh well. Uh, another thing I've noticed is that with the, uh, the the plus buttons, the I assume they are checkpoints. Um, only a couple of them actually really. Yeah, only them, only have a couple of them actually act as checkpoints. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Um, it, it may be just the fact that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the deal with that. Um, maybe just to f maybe just fake you out. Maybe I don't know. But anyway, let's go ahead and know that I've died. Most of my life. Let's go ahead and check out Mayhem Mode. John, welcome to Mayhem Mode. In this mode, you can take your motorcycle through the desert and town to get to the mayor's mansion. Maybe this way is easier. Question mark. Press B to shoot and A to jump. If you see a ramp, just drive over it. It will launch you into the air. Hold up on the D-pad to stop. Good luck. Yeah, stopping is definitely something you want to 
you want to do for sure. Because it makes it easier to kill the enemies that are coming at you. I, in fact, I don't think of there being a way to get through the stage without using the stop. Because you just move too quickly. Way too quickly. Oh, that, that was lame. He wasn't even anywhere near me, but okay. I think it was, I think it was a collision issue, but uh, that's alright. Again, this is the first game, and this game is very, very well done for being their first title. It really is a great, great job. Everything about the game is great. Music, sound effects, um, the, uh, <laughs> the animation, the uh, dialogue, all of it's really, really neat. Um, and very well thought out. Very well done. And I'm, I'm impressed that they've included two different game modes, two different ways to play the game. So you're really getting two games in one. Now, from what I understand, this game is going to be available digitally. It'll also be available physically as well. Um, I don't know any details on the physical release of it just yet. But do you know that it is coming both physically and digitally? Which is really awesome. In fact, I think it's actually available digitally through IH.io. I'm actually not thinking about it. But physically, it's not available yet. Let me ask to see it on cartridge. Especially as being their, their first game. Um, I think it'll do very well. You know, so I'm going back through Mayhem mode because I really like this mode. This, this game, I guess, actually, is really what this is. Uh, I fell through the road. That was cool. I wonder if I could just... Nope. <laughs> I was like, I wonder if I could just not stop. No, you can't just not stop. Gotta love the, uh, that uh, NES chug. It's, it's running on an actual NES, so... Shrug is real. Why don't you just try killing all the enemies on screen? So I can reach. So I'm trying to jump over them. That's cool. I think my uh, main character glitched there for a second. Oh, I see. Okay. Wow. I was, I was, I was in ammo there. Alright, I'm going to go in the review here, guys. I'm going to look at uh, Desert of the Undead. An amazing NES game. You got two games in one. Really great game from Rush River Gaming and RSM Productions. Check this game out. I'll leave a link to get the game. It's really in the description down below. Once physical release um, comes about, I'll leave information and a link to that as well. And I'll thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, until next time, take care and happy gaming.